What if I told you that the secret to endless MMA cardio has been hiding in plain sight? Data from the UFC Performance Institute has revealed the key to better endurance. Get ready to learn the unique formula that will take your fight performance to new heights. As the sport of MMA evolves, coaches and fighters are starting to understand the importance of data and how it can be used to optimize training. During wrestling exchanges and striking combinations, MMA fighters rely heavily on their anaerobic fitness. The aerobic energy system is responsible for the energy production and lactate clearance between explosive high-intensity efforts. It also helps lower your heart rate during a fight and in between rounds. High-intensity interval training has shown to be superior to low-intensity steady-state cardio in improving both your aerobic and anaerobic fitness. But let's look at the benefits in a little more detail. It improves cardiovascular metrics such as stroke volume and cardio cardiac output. It also increases the amount of capillaries surrounding muscles and the amount of mitochondria within muscle cells. Or in other words, your muscles have more highways to deliver fuel and more power plants to produce energy. This results in improvements in peak power, VO2 max, maximum heart rate and oxygen delivery. In a paper published in 2021, the UFC Performance Institute has revealed a secret formula for MMA cardio. According to the data, UFC fights usually consist of 6 to 36 seconds of a high intensity effort, followed by a low to moderate intensity effort that is two to three times longer. This pattern repeats throughout five minute rounds. Follow this one to two to one to three high intensity to low intensity ratio during your conditioning sessions to prepare your body for the energy system demands of a fight. So what could that look like? For example, you could perform a 15 second all out effort followed by 30 to 45 seconds of a slower pace or isometric effort. Complete three to five, five minute rounds with a minute rest in between once or twice a week. But there's more. Striking usually has shorter high intensity efforts and longer low intensity periods compared to grappling. Adjust the time periods and ratio according to your own fighting style and game plan and how it matches with your opponent. You can apply these principles to resistance training, sprint intervals or intervals on a cardio machine like the assault bike, ski erg or rower. This can also be used to structure your shark tanks. But if you want the thinking taken out of it, check out my Combat Athlete 8 Week Bodyweight Program which includes all the principles discussed in this video and many more. You'll find it linked up here or in the comment section below. Want to know whether your conditioning pays off? Watch this video next for a simple way to test your fitness as a fighter. Drop a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if this video was helpful. As always, train hard, recover smart and fight easy.